Hi everyone, today Group 5 will be presenting their spaghetti bridge video. Group 5 consists of Caleb Crabb, Aidan Viney, Flynn Johnson and myself, Alex Condello. So after our initial meeting, we decided on which design we'd want to do. So that included just drawing up a few different designs, as you can see, and eventually after some consideration, we decided to choose design one. Design number one was a basic truss design and was our first testing model. We had a lot of trial and error throughout the three days we met up on to construct the bridge. We started by firstly drawing up a template of the bridge on a sheet of baking paper which was the best surface that the bridge wouldn't stick to. After creating the bottom cords, we then measured all truss members and cut them to size to piece them all together. All members consisted of five pieces of spaghetti and the dimensions of the bridge were 400mm by 80mm and had an overall weight of 89 grams. Once the bridge was complete, Caleb and Alex met up the next day to test the bridge and record the results. Here is a video of the test. For the test, as you can see, we mounted our bridge on the test machine, mounting the pulling bracket and attaching the hanging scale. When testing the bridge, it was important that we slowly applied the weight at small increments and not applying too much stress to the bridge and causing it to be under immense pressure. As you can see in our test, our bridge was able to have a capacity of 7.5 kilos. When taking into account the weight of 89 grams, it resulted in a weight in a load to weight ratio of 94. The test was able to highlight a few key issues with our bridge. Firstly, from the get-go, our bridge was not sitting flush on the roller supports due to the bridge not being completely symmetrical. This caused all the capacity to be applied to one side of the bridge instead of both sides of the bridge. Secondly, we noticed that the joints between the members were not getting the maximum surface area and causing weak connections. It is from this we took all the findings into our next group meeting for our final design of the bridge. We chose to keep the same design as our trial bridge for our final model. We tried to keep everything similar so we could concentrate on fixing the one variable. As Alex said, there was issues with how the bridge was sitting on the supports. It wasn't quite sitting flat, so we really needed to work on that for our next model. We kept the old template as we were happy with our first design. However, instead of using five spaghetti, we used seven for the webbing men members. We also cleaned up the joints with sandpaper once they were dry to increase the spaghetti surface area at the joints. By having these clean joints, we could ensure the glue would cover the members better. This would simulate a 6mm continuous fillet weld on steel in the construction industry. Once the bottom cord was constructed, this time it was more square and flat, we could assemble the webbing members and attach these to the bottom cords. After this, we then attached both sides of the bridge together and ensured we let the super, glue, the super glue cure for 24 hours before competition day. As you can see, we completed some simple design calculations for our final bridge. We converted the combined weight of the bridge and the load and converted it into newtons, giving us the total load. We then calculated the forces in X and Y directions by figuring out the moment. As the bridge was symmetrical, we had even forces acting upon each support reactions. Here is a final video of our bridge on competition day. The bridge was tested using the same procedure as the first, however it was in front of the whole class so there was a lot of pressure for our bridge to perform well. Our bridge collapsed in the middle of the bottom cord and held a weight of 15 kilograms. Our bridge only weighed 131 grams, meaning we had a final load to weight ratio of 115. We were very proud of our efforts as we doubled the capacity of the bridge by only adding 42 grams to our second bridge. We believe we achieved the results we did mainly by our flush connections of the bridge members and also having had more experience after constructing the first testing bridge prior to the final. On behalf of the group and myself, I would like to thank everyone for watching our video on the Spaghetti Bridge. Our group was really proud of our efforts in both, the way, in both the way we came together and our overall performance coming second. This was a really enjoyable assignment and everyone got a lot out of it, including a lot of team building experiences and an understanding of our basic bridge designs.
Apologies from Ken Johnson, who was absent on the day of recording this video. And thanks again.